Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Apologies for the, the funny lighting today. It's really, really early and it's still a bit dark and gloomy outside. So I've had to put the big light on so it might look a little bit yellow today. But yeah, I hope you've had a really good two weeks. I haven't been too bad actually. The kids are now on their Easter holiday. So things have been a little bit more busier than normal. <laughs> but at the same time, I've had more spare time to stitch and do some crafty stuff because I'm not homeschooling so in a way it's probably better for me. So I thought it'd be um, a good idea to just give you a few life updates as well because I haven't done a stitch with me for quite a while. Um, before I get into all of that, if you don't want to hear it just fast forward the video till I show the stitching. Um, but I do want to mention a, another YouTube channel that I forgot to do in the last one when I did a load of other mentions. Um, it's a lady called 310 Stitcher. She has, well obviously by the name you can tell the type of stitching that she does. <laughs> she has a lot of pro uh, projects that have the colour 310 in but her projects are very very big very very beautiful and you should definitely check her out if you really really love full coverage because I think she's got some amazing pieces of work in progress. Um, so yeah sorry I forgot to mention you in the last video. Now life updates should we do that yeah we'll do that first we'll just do all of it at the beginning. Um, life updates I have been a little bit nervous for my daughter the last couple of weeks. She was told that her baby was quite small. Um, if you didn't know, she's pregnant. And I was very, very concerned. Her bump, she's, how far gone is she now? She's over halfway and her bump is very, very small. She looks like she's just bloated. <laughs> um, so we were very, very concerned. The midwife is very concerned, but she's been for a scan because we thought that the, umbilical cord or something might be obstructed or twisted and the baby's not getting enough nutrients but apparently the baby is very very chunky and very very healthy and has lots of hair because <laughs> she's had another scan um, and everything's fine it's just she's not showing um, so that has been great news to hear this week because I was very very concerned about her. So we went to the cinema on Easter. Easter was a lovely day. Um, it was really nice and relaxing. The kids were all happy, but we went to the cinema to watch Kung Fu Panda. And me and my partner actually decided to pick up these special, um, what are they called? Popcorn holders that the cinema was <laughs> had. And we had them, but my children didn't. They, they were not interested, but me and my partner ended up having our popcorn out of these because they're reusable, like big kids. Um, so now every time I have popcorn at home, I can have it in a, a noodle, a noodle box. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a lovely two weeks to be fair. I am waiting for a carpet to turn up because I would like carpet in my living room instead of the vinyl like fake laminate stuff that I've got down at the minute because the living room's always really really cold in the winter. Um, me and my brother-in-law are going to put that down together so that's going to be fun. I have laid carpets before. I have been quite, I've always been quite good at DIY myself because my dad has always taught me um, to like try and learn yourself before you pay somebody else to do it. But that's going to be very interesting to do because I haven't laid a carpet for years now because nowadays I just pay other people to do it because of the children and I just don't have the time to do it but yeah that'll be that'll be interesting <laughs> um, I don't actually know when it's coming um, I've been playing my Final Fantasy game that's still going on I have a feeling I'm near the end of it I've been playing the the um, save time when I save it tells me how long I've been playing for and the save time at the minute is 40 hours so I've been trying to get like an hour and a half to two hours a day on there um, and then if I get more time at night I'll play it at night before I nod off sometimes when I've stuck when I've stitched at night I'm not always tired when I've when I put all my stuff away so playing the game sometimes makes me a little bit more sleepy um, I think I'm near the end I don't know I think there's probably about another 10 hours or so to go but it's been a really good game it's very very big I haven't done everything on that game um, but I have enjoyed playing video games again because it's been a long time since I actually picked up the game 
before this. Um, I'm trying to think what it was. I think the last game I played was Hogwarts Legacy last year around Mother's Day. Um, and I never finished it because I really, really, because I'm, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I really liked exploring the castle and going all around Hogwarts. Um, but when it came to the actual, actual story, I got bored. So I never, I never finished it. Um, the other YouTube channel is going well. Um, if you didn't know, I've created another YouTube channel for diamond painting. I have been going back and forth with the idea of doing time lapses of diamond paintings. Um, and I think that's going to work the best for me and obviously this channel and my schedule with everything else. I think that channel is going to mostly be diamond painting time lapses where you see me start the picture and then you see it at the end and I give, I tell people what I think of it and etc. Um, instead of doing things like unboxings, I think this year I've really been thinking about how much money I spend on crafting stuff in general and how much money gets wasted obviously with the with the whole cost of living crisis um, here in the UK it's made me question my purchases more um, because money is tighter for us as well um, and I've got such a big stash at the minute of diamond paintings that I haven't bought any have I, no I haven't bought any since last Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I think it was Cyber Monday was my last purchase um, and for me that's pretty good um, I used to buy I'd say a diamond painting a month at some points more than that so I am really really pleased that I haven't gone out and just bought random diamond paintings just because they looked pretty and I haven't really thought about do I actually want this picture because they are quite expensive diamond paintings if you've never seen them before depending on where you buy them from and if you want a licensed one, so the artist gets paid commission for their work and everything, same as cross stitch patterns really, um, you do pay uh, quite a lot for them. So I'm very comfortable thinking that that YouTube channel can be just be time lapses and occasional obviously whipping chats like Stitch With Me's, that type of thing. So it's all fitting in quite well with my schedule. So come the time when I open my Etsy shop um, in hopefully May, I'm hoping to, I'm aiming for May, but it might be June, I, d I d honestly don't know. Um, everything should tie together quite well, hopefully. <laughs> I've been learning to sculpt, I finished a snail that my partner wanted, because I asked him to pick me something to practice on. Um, and he told me to practice on this snail from One Piece, a transponder snail. Now I'm not that clued up on One Piece. I do watch it with him now at bedtime um, when he's still awake before he goes to bed but I don't know everything about it so I've never actually seen the snail on the TV because apparently the char each character has its own snail and they act as a telephone and awake to communicate with the other characters um, and this character has actually died so I don't like I'm watching it at like episode 600 and something <laughs> and there's I think there's over a thousand episodes of One Piece or something crazy like that. Um, but that that came out really well actually, the sculpture. I've learned an awful lot from that. And I'm now planning, wish me luck, to sculpt a chocobo from Final Fantasy. I'll put a picture somewhere of what they look like and I don't know how I'm gonna do it because that is a lot of feathers, but we'll see. It would be challenge for me anyway. I like to challenge myself when it comes to art and crafts. So this is just kind of something that I want to do in my spare time for me more than anything. It's not really benefiting my Etsy shop in any way because I sell cross stitch patterns, diamond painting accessories and cross stitch accessories like cover minders. So um, I do make things out of clay for the shop but not to that scale. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I just really I'm really really interested in sculpting really interested in sculpting I think it's a really creative way to make a piece of art and I can't draw like I, I really can't draw the cross stitch patterns that we'll see in my Etsy shop are my daughter's artwork she she can draw wonderfully like she's amazing at drawing but I cannot draw to save my life uh what else in other boring news I need a new boiler 
Uh, and I think there's a leak in my cupboard in my son's room, so somebody should be coming to look at that soon. I don't know if it's from the attic or if it's from the water tank, because the water tank is in that cupboard. Um, I don't think it's from the water tank though, I think it, there is some sort of hole in my attic somewhere. Um, so that's fun. Shall we get on with the stitching? Um, I was going to give you more of a life update, but now I'm on camera, I've forgotten everything. So really I should write these down. But the first um, project I have is Dark Queen of the Seas. Now Dark Queen of the Seas I did three days on. And when I say, so like three stitching times, um, my stitching times are different all the time. Sometimes I stitch for 20 minutes, sometimes I can stitch for two hours. Like it, it depends. Um, depends on when I stitch during the day and if anybody interrupts me really. So um, I worked on this for three, say stitching sit sittings, would you say sittings? Or I just say three days, but three sittings in the last two weeks I've worked on this. And I can tell you now, I am so happy with my new chart. If you missed last week's floss tube, I mentioned that my friend reprinted the chart for this because I'm working off of a paper pattern and oh, it's so much easier. Um, so I will definitely pick this one up more. But yeah, Dark Queen of the Seas is from Autumn Lane Stitchery and here is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here's what it looks, oh, I'm wobbling. Here is what it looks like now. So this is the mermaid. This is her stomach and her waist is here. This is the start of her hair. So the hair kind of comes out this wide and kind of, cause she's underwater. So it's kind of cascading everywhere. But this is the first page. And I think with this one, um, I have mentioned it before, but it has a lot of beads in this kit um, and I've never done beading before. So I think what I'm going to do is do as much backstitching and beading as I can on each page and I'm like, as I go. So I'm going to do one page at a time. Um, so I'm not overwhelmed at the end because her, her, um, I want to say tentacles have a lot of backstitching in them and the beads are kind of, all over the place on this pattern, but I've never done it. I know how to backstitch, obviously, but I don't know how to bead. So there's a trident that comes out on the same page as this one. And that'll be obviously where I practice the beads, I think, because going up that way, actually no, her head and everything, because there's only four pages to this chart and the pages are very, very large. So I keep forgetting that because I'm so used to having quite small pages. Well, I say small, but they're not on, on the full coverage, but this one has only four pages and there is a lot of stitching per page. So I keep forgetting, but yeah, her head and everything is going to be on this page as well. So that'll be a lot of stitching and a lot of beading to practice on. Um, but as I said, with the new chart that I've got, I will definitely get this one out more. I am very, very happy with the progress so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. The fabric is lovely as always. If you want to know what I stitch, the thread that I use, the fabric that I've used, it will all be in the description below because I just find it easier than trying to remember to tell you whenever I pick it up. So whatever you see on camera will all be in the description below. I think what I might start doing is actually just put all of my whips in the description on every video and just leave it in there so you can, even if I don't show it, you can just click it and see what the pattern is. So next up is Venom. I had another go on Venom and I did, I did 906 stitches on Venom this week. So here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here's what it looks like now. Can I do that without showing you the background? Yeah, there we go. I'm actually really pleased with the progress that I had on this one. I was only expecting to get um, a day or two on there, but I did four days worth of progress and I'm actually really enjoying this one. So when I first started um, doing this kit, it was quite early on in my, I say full coverage days where I would get really confused with the confetti. So I would only do a block of four um, grids at once because it, 
the confetti really got to me at first. Um, and now I can kind of go down with confidence that I know I'm not going to miss anything because I've got... I can't really show you on this because where the, where the hoop is. But when I started in this top corner here, I went all the way along for ages in a row of four blocks because I was quite nervous. But now, now I'm very, very confident that I can do this. After doing things like Lord of the Rings that I'll show you in a minute, um, yeah, I am really, really happy with this. This is actually going to be for my daughter because she's a big Venom fan. So I'm hoping that I can get this finished by the end of the year, but I doubt it. It's now at 30.7% um, and we're in April. So it depends. It depends how often I pick this up, but I am going to really make a conscious effort to pick this one up. And it's not a bad stitch either. It's not something that I don't enjoy stitching, so that, that will help the progress. That I don't know how to explain it. You know when sometimes you get a cross stitch kit that you're just really not enjoying? Um, well, actually, I will explain it because I've got I've got a restart to tell you about, but and then that's how I feel about that one. Um, but every now and again, you'll do a project for somebody else, and you're just not enjoying it, and then it feels like a slog to get it done because it's not for you; it's for somebody else. But this one, I'm really, really enjoying it. So yeah, I I, I would like. Let's see if I can make some sort of target for the end of the year. If I can get to 70% by the end of the year, I'd be very, very happy. And then I could do the, the other 30, the remaining 30 next year, and then give it to her, make sure I can find a frame and everything and, and give gift it to her. I think, yeah, we'll go with 70%. If I can get 70% done this year on Venom, I'd be very, very happy. So next up is a chart that I call Kitty Cats, but I think it's just called cats or kittens maybe I don't know it's by soda stitch and I'll the picture will be up here somewhere but this is for my grandchild that's due in June and this is what it looks like well this is what it looked like rather the last time you saw it and here is the progress now so I did some of this last night actually and it was really really fun to work on I have done 534 stitches this week over a course of two days, so two little sessions, um, and I'm now at 32.32%. So all I need to do on this kitten now is fill in his fur here, and then I need to work on the back stitch. So I'm trying to do the back stitch as I go. This kitten that's um, kind of stuck in the hoop at the minute has already had his back stitch on so I want to work on each kitten as I go there's one more this side and then there will be another two two I think or maybe three this side um yeah I'm really really happy with this one it's very very cute and very very um nice to stitch on compared to all the confetti that I have because this one is mostly like color blocking as you can see um you kind of do the black outline and then fill it in. I would really recommend soda stitch charts for beginners. If you haven't ever done a cross stitch before, I would recommend checking out soda stitch on Etsy and seeing not all of their patterns because some of them do look a bit more complicated, but something like this where the image is quite big and chunky or you can make it big and chunky changing your stitch count. I, I would stitch count, fabric count. I would um, definitely recommend these for beginners because they are a lot of fun and it does make for a nice change when you go from something like Lord of the Rings that's full of confetti and 28 count, half stitch, like, it's big and then you come to this, it's, it just feels like a nice, nice palette cleanser, is that the right word I'm looking for? Okay, so the last one is my Lord of the Rings, which is my largest focus piece. Oh, it's the largest piece I have as well. Um, the picture will be probably here. And I stitched near enough every night this week. There was a couple of nights. Um, I don't stitch when my partner has a day off. So either the day of his day off or the night before he has a day off, we usually stay up a bit later and watch a film and things. So because I know that he's not at work, I'm, I'm not making an effort to stitch. I'm making more of an effort to spend time with him because we don't see each other that often. 
So I stitched every other night, every night other than when he was off. And here is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I need some board because the light is... I've actually gone and found a bit of foam because <clears throat> the light is coming through. But here is what it looks like now. And I did 2,051 stitches. And that gives me a total of 6.4%. So it is coming along lovely. You can now start to see a bit more detail. So the tower, the tower in the background here is now pretty much finished. I don't think there's any more of that on the chart left to do. It's a bit awkward holding this. I'm trying to find you a good, a good lighting spot. Yeah. Very, very happy. So I'm still doing the same method as I was last time I came, I spoke about this uh, last floss tube, where I'm sort of going in a diagonal. Every now and again, I will go through and pick a ninja stitch. Sometimes I'll stitch, pick the color here and go that way. Sometimes I'll decide to come down here. I have been working a little bit down here, as you can see. Um, but most of the time I have been filling out this part and trying to go that way. Um, I always forget where we were the week before. So to me, I can't notice much progress on this until I actually see the before picture in editing. Um, I think this bit wasn't that filled out last time, was it? I think there was a, a few gaps here. But yeah, it is looking really, really cool. Um, and this cross stitch pattern is huge. So when this is done, there's going to be an awful lot of detail in this. Okay, so now before we go, I want to talk about my restart. So I did stitch on something else this week. I decided to stitch on Tomb Raider. So I'll put the picture here of the Tomb Raider chart that I have. I asked, I reached out to an artist and asked if I could stitch his work for personal use. So this is just a personal use chart that I've charted myself. Um, and I used it on my Stitch With Me's in the past. I think I've done it twice, I think. Um, but the fabric that I picked, I hate. I absolutely hate it. Um, I really, really wanted to do this chart in 25 count fabric because 25 count, half stitch, two strands is my sweet spot. It's something that I feel extremely comfortable with. Um, it's just, it's just what I like to use. So I could not find one piece of fabric as, as big as what I needed it in 25 count um, for this size chart because the chart is 600 stitches wide by 750 long I believe anyway I found some fabric um, if you've never seen this before I found some fabric from Hobby Jobby or Hobby Craft I cannot remember for the life of me but if you go back on my, if you just go have a look at the stitch with me, you'll see what I mean. This fabric is like plastic. It's it's see-through. It was really difficult to read, like because it had grids, but the grids were over two spaces instead of one that I'm used to. So with um, let me just show you with this type of fabric, the one that I always use, these lines are over one stitch, they're not over two. And that is what I'm used to. Now that, that Tomb Raider one, it was like a beige colour and the lines were yellow and they were over two, two stitches and that was confusing me so much and I couldn't see the lines because it was see-through. So I tried marking my own lines into this fabric um, this week when I picked this chart up and then I counted them wrong and I was just like, do you know what? Let me restart this because I'll show you my progress. Let's do it here. I'll show you the progress of where I was. It wasn't that far. Now this week I did 306 stitches on this chart um, before I decided to grid it myself and done it wrong. And then I thought, do you know what? I'm just gonna restart it. But it's only in the top left corner. There's not actually that much done. So um, I was just thinking, you know, there's literally only background that I've done. If I'm gonna restart it, I might as well restart it now before I get too far down this chart 
and still hate this fabric because I just, I really did not like that fabric. So the fabric is gonna be donated. Um, I will probably try and cut that bit off or frog it and then I will just donate the fabric um, and it will be out of my hair. I don't want to bin it because it's quite a big piece of fabric. Um, I'm trying to, I don't remember the size of it. But what I have decided to do instead is I have ordered 32 count fabric. Um, Easy count, Lugana, basically exactly the same as this stuff. So um, I didn't bring the, the foam ball, did I? So it's the same as this stuff, except this one is 28 count. So 32 count, I have never worked on 32 count before. Um, I don't know why, I've just never tried it. Um, I don't know if it's because it's too small for me, so maybe I was worried that I wouldn't uh, be able to see the, the holes well enough. Um, I don't know why I haven't picked up 32 count before but I'm gonna be doing it soon. Um, <laughs> I think the fabric turns up tomorrow. So the plan is to stitch in 32 count, one strand, half stitch, because as from what I've seen other people stitch, 32 count with one strand, half stitch works well. If it, I don't think two strands, half stitch will work well because I've, that, um, Lord of the Rings and a couple of my other ones are 28 count and I stitch half strand to two strands half stitch on them and they're quite thick so there's no way that 32 count two strands half stitch will work it's either gonna have to be one strand full cross or one strand half stitch I believe and I'm not a fan of stitching in full cross especially on a full coverage because it takes so much longer and I'm lazy that, that is literally it. I am lazy and I'm impatient and I don't want to sit there and do full crosses on a full coverage chart like Lord of the Rings, for instance, that's 999 stitches wide. Um, I'm doing it in half stitch or I'm not doing it. It's, <laughs> it's as simple as that. <laughs> you know you know what you like and you know what you don't. And I know that I don't like full, co full cross when I can help it. So... Um, charts like the cat, the kittens, full cross works beautifully, but not on a full coverage when I have hundreds of stitches to do. So next week you will see Tomb Raider because I'm going to make a point of catching up to where I was. It wasn't much, so it won't take me long. Um, but I don't know, that means I don't know what else I'll show next week because it'll be Lord of the Rings, obviously, as always. Um, cause I try and do 200 stitches a night on that and then it will be Tomb Raider. I do have, um, it's now April, so I need to get the April focus out and try and stitch on that three days a week because every single month I have a different focus, I stitch on it three days a week. Um, this month I have forgotten what it was, I'm pretty sure it was the Medusa Dollmaker Gamer Girl, did I call it Gamer Girl? I think I did. Um, I'll get it, I'll find out what it is and I'll get it out and I'll stitch on that bit um, over the next two weeks. But I think that is literally all you're going to see the next Floss Tube is going to be those three kits. It'll be Lord of the Rings, the focus for April and Tomb Raider because I do really want to get as much progress as I can done on the Tomb Raider. So I'm back to where I was, if that makes sense. And I will let you know how I get on with the 32 count because I'm really, really interested in trying it out. So I will see you next time. I hope you have a really good two weeks. Thank you if you stay till the end. And yeah, bye-bye.